man i know you guys are tired of seeing me with the same hairstyle and the same shirt and jewelry on but if you cannot tell by the title of this video i'm doing a what's on my ipad i have the ipad air 10th generation i'm gonna take it out of the case so you guys can see it um at the time when i got this i did not know it was like the newest one um i just wanted an ipad and i got the apple pencil this is the first gen one because it's the only one that works with it which sucks because um, my daughter has an ipad air the fourth or fifth generation the blue one and it comes with the second gen apple pencil and i love the grip on that one this one's just a little too slick but i like it and i changed the tip on it um just to get better like writing when i use like good notes or i'm um, doing anything else um this is the case the backing is clear i should have gotten one that matched it but i just i needed something quick and then i have um a privacy screen protector on it but it doesn't cover the camera because with the 10th generation um the best way to use it is here because it has like that capture like portrait mode so the camera's here it's not here or here but it's here and i, I really like this for like facetime and when i'm doing like zooms and google meets and all that good jazz so i'm gonna start the screen share so that you guys can see what's on my ipad you guys get to see that now um so i'm gonna start with the first screen this is not super pretty i don't have like the aesthetic like wallpapers and the widgets and all that good jazz i just this thing gets used for like personal and business type stuff so i just gotta make it do what it do okay so um, first things first, I have the clock here. I have the notes app and I have it on this little portion because I don't need y'all to know what's in my notes. <laughs> um, I do also have my calendar. It is up here. It has all kind of stuff on it. Um, I think I'm the only person who really, really goes all out. Well, I'm, I'm probably not, but for the most part, um, out of the individuals that I know, I really utilize notes, reminders, and the calendar that Apple provides with the Apple products because they sync up really well across all of my products. I can access everything on my iPhone, my iPad, my MacBook Air, my Apple Watch, <laughs> and it just, it makes sense to me and I love it. Um, I also have the weather app right here. It's going to be this giant freaking widget. I'm in the Houston area and um, I didn't make mention of this screen here, but y'all can see the pictures and kind of sort of the similar setup right there. Um, so the first things first, these are out and not in a folder because I do come to these apps quite frequently only on my iPad. If you guys watch the what's on my iPhone 13 video, the setup for that is very, very different. So I have files, which I'm not going to open because it has like personal files on there and I separate it for like what I needed for school at the time, what I need for the military, what I need for my civilian job and what I need for my business. I'm very, very organized um, when it comes to like that kind of stuff. I have maps, but I never use maps on here. So I'm probably going to take that off of this screen. I have camera because I will frequently record or take pictures because I just like the setup and the camera's pretty good on the, um, the newer iPads at the app store because i have apps frequently needing to be updated which is wild podcast if you guys saw it on my phone you guys know i listen to like erica taught me uh, joe franco the duolingo podcast to brush up on like spanish french italian latin that kind of stuff um again there's a clock app it's super redundant to have them both there but again i need to like really really organize this um I have the weather app again super redundant i have mail i'm not gonna go in there i have a yahoo a gmail and icloud um i have a work email i have a business email i have all kinds of emails i have find my which you guys if you have any apple products you know what find my is i have safari and chrome but i generally gravitate towards chrome especially on my macbook air and on my ipad um, I have Teams and this is for like when I meet up with my business advisor um, and when I'm doing anything when it comes to like my notary business, I use Teams. Um, before I really get into what's going on here at the very, very bottom, I have messages, I have Face, Facebook, <laughs> FaceTime, the free form app for like vision board designs. I'm not going to go in there. I have the calendar, I have photos, I have reminders, I have notes in this little bottom bar section right here right before that break these are all the apps i most frequently go to like always 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 um the apps i was most recently in was max youtube 
um, sheets to update my budget and then I have my productivity folder here um, again when you come to this side I know it is super redundant to have the date when the date is up here and then I also have um, the time military time um, I have flip clock or I think that's what it's called I'll put a name of that app right here I have it on my uh, MacBook Air it is one of the home screens so if I'm not active on there that is what it reverts to and then I also have it on here which I like it it's really nice and it keeps me up on my like 24 hour clock time because in the military we use a 24 hour clock and we don't say uh oh it's it's 6 15 we say oh 1700 or 1715 um this is a similar setup to my oh this is the the wallpaper um my angel numbers are 2222 alignment which just means i'm always in the right place at the right time that was so true um for me growing up in certain situations not always just certain situations um but i'll get into that in a whole nother video later the setup is pretty much similar um some of these are written in like the titles are like affirmation type titles and then if it's not it's pretty much like what what it pertains to in the folders um i know some people think may think that this is a little clustered and cluttered but i need folders I need a need folder it's like i hate going on my mom or my daughter's phone or their ipad i like to just scroll up and clean the screen like well you'll see max and youtube and <laughs> i'm trying to talk about other people and then look at me most of the time for the most part whenever i do this scroll up action there's nothing there and i hate it for other people's phones but i was using this earlier while i was at work um but anyway let's get back to this video before it becomes super super long I have my Amazon folder app, which is similar to the setup in my phone, my cell phone. Um, I'm not going to go into detail with that. You guys know all the Amazon products. This one, I'm a business owner. This is like all of my notary type stuff. I have Scanner Mini and this works really well for any forms that I need to just have this, like not physical copies of, electronic copies of. And then if I need to print anything, I can go into Scanner and print it. I have it set up really nicely. So I'm not gonna go into there because there's a lot of personal information. And then the rest of this stuff is, I had Twitch for um, a Discord group, but I don't really use it anymore. So I just keep it at the end. But yeah, all of business type stuff. I do use Google Voice. Um, when I don't want to give people my actual phone number, I give them my Google vo Voice number, which it works out because I don't get a lot of calls when it comes to business stuff. People generally tend to email me for that. So Google Voice is there. Printer, all my notary stuff, Panda Docs, uh, Calendly for like setting up, scheduling appointments, DocuSign, Lincoln Bio, that kind of stuff. Um, again, Carla has her own little section. She has her Katie ISD app because we are in um, Katie's independent school district. So I keep that there to keep in touch with her stuff. And then I have Canvas Parent to reach out to her teachers. Um, I am that parent. I am. I have, I am educated. This is like, again, school, we were using Brightspace and then we ended up coming out of that and using Zoom, which works because I was using Zoom for all kind of other stuff. Bookshelf, have my school books. Libby, you guys know I love, love, love Libby and can't rave about it enough. That is how I get all of my ebooks, audiobooks, magazines, cookbooks, um, language learning lesson, like platform situations when I don't want to use like Duolingo and all the other like language helping learning apps that I have. I know words today. Um, good notes, good notes, good notes, good notes. That is like my go-to on here. That is probably one of the most used apps on this damn thing. Um, dictionary, Quizlet, because if you know, you know. Um, have Google Slides, Google Classroom. I have um, Microsoft Office products on here because we got it free for a year with me being in my master's program. So I'm just gonna keep using that until I can't. I have Photomath because I am not a math genius. And when there's any questions or my daughter needs help, I have that there. Group me and remind, I can probably delete those because I haven't used those since I was in tech school. Um, entertainment, similar setup to my phone, except I have paint by numbers in here because I just love to use it with the Apple Pencil. It is so aesthetically pleasing. Um, again, I had that Mario game, paid $10 for it four years ago. I'm gonna keep using it. I have the Vizio or Vizio um, app, which if I don't have my phone next to me and I have my iPad next to me, I can use this as a remote as well. I have Max, I need to delete HBO Max because that no longer works. I have Reddit, occasionally I'll go on there, but no. Um, Instagram, Snapchat, and Pinterest are linked always in like my um, my banner. And also if you go to like the description, if you guys are interested. 
Um, I am rich again all of my banking stuff Google Sheets holds my budget so I'm not gonna open any of these apps um, I mostly use my Navy Federal and my Chase Amex and Built everything else rarely gets touched when it comes to like banking and then I have the Mint Mobile app to kind of keep me on track I am nourished this is like food 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 so um, I haven't been to a main squeeze out here. We utilize Tasty whenever we want to try new recipes when it comes to like desserts or like a different dish that we may already have the ingredients for. Um, it's super nice. We use all the HEB, DoorDash, uh, Uber Eats. I haven't used Shipped in a while. That was like when I sold my car and didn't have a car and I needed to get groceries delivered. I use Ship because I got it for free because I used to ship shop. Resi is my favorite because it will give you uh, recommendations to restaurants as well as assist you with booking um, a table should you need it. And if you have an Amex Platinum, you already know about that. I am relaxed. This is like, I don't use BetterHelp anymore because it got kind of pricey. I don't use Pillow anymore. I'll occasionally go into Calm to listen to like the rainfall music or like beach waves music. It's very, very soothing. And then I have my motivational app, which sends me affirmations daily. And then it does a weekly, a weekly recap. And then I have my fitness app, which only really pertains to anything when I have this Apple Watch on. Um, and then Gallon tracks how much water I drink. And then Renfo is to go with my scale that has Bluetooth connectivity to this app. Um, I am wealthy. This is like all of my investment platforms. So I have Webull, Robinhood, Coinbase. I don't use Wallet. I just downloaded it so that I can get an extra something something in Coinbase. Um, TSP is for the military. Vanguard is my 401k. Um, and I can talk about wealth and finances in abundance, but I'm not going to do that in this video. Otherwise, it's going to be super long. Um, oh, we already did that one. <laughs> um, ah, where am I? Oh my goodness. This one's iPad extras, just like with my phone where I had like the Apple extras. Um, I really need to take photo booth out of here and utilize that. Um, this one is, I'm not even going to take the name down, but this one pertains to like work. Um, again, I don't know why LinkedIn is bunched in with work because that should be something standout-ish on its own. We use Workday to kind of keep up with everything. I have Grammarly, we use Salesforce, Google Meets, which I don't know why I have two of those in there. Um, the Kaplan Schweizer app. I have Google Calendar, um, Google Docs, which has a lot of docs pertaining to not only work, but school related stuff too. I just have different sign-ins for them. I'm a learner. This is all of my language learning stuff. The only apps that I really don't use is the Translate, just a standard Translate that comes on all the Apple phones and products now, and then Google Translate. Everything else, especially Duolingo, gets used. Um, you guys can also friend me on there and we can compete. I have mail, similar setup to what was on my phone. Not going to explain those. Um, I am healthy. Again, similar setup to what was on my phone. This was like all of the, um, the health apps. Edna is who we have like our medical dental vision insurance through and then like my chart and Hilo is like what we keep up with and then 1-800-CONTACTS is how I order mine and my daughter's contacts. Uh, music, same setup as my phone, Apple Music and Spotify. Um, I'm creative. This is going to be like the imaging edge is the one that connects to this camera that I am filming on. It is a Sony ZV-1. I don't think I said that when I was talking about what was on my phone. Um, but you can remotely control or Bluetooth control the camera from, from this app. Um, I utilize Clips, Canva, um, Creative Cloud, not so much. I canceled and VSCO. I'm trying to get back into, I was really into it when I was in high school and when I first started in undergrad and college. Um, and then pick monkey for thumbnails um shopping i know this is like insane to have all this stuff in here but i swear i only really use rakuten to get cash back target walmart and then a Aerie or ae for like jeans and underwear for me and my daughter um surveys these surveys pay you uh in points and you can redeem it for like cash back or for gift cards if you guys aren't familiar with Fetch, Eureka, or Rewards, I'll link all of that stuff below in the description box. You can download these apps and check them out yourself. Um, taxes, 
self-explanatory taxes <laughs> i'm successful this is like mostly geared towards um being successful on youtube i have analytics ads i don't know why i have self counts to buddy and bid iq because i no longer really use those three apps iMovie is what i edit all of my videos on youtube studio is for like youtube creators and then of course like the regular youtube i know i have a notification i will get to that later and then i am a traveler this is like all of my travel stuff i am gold with hilton and marriott um, i'm in the president circle with hertz with parking spot i'm a platinum member um, my airline of choice is united all the way i have priority pass so i can get into minute suites for free i utilize lyft more than i utilize uber i'm gonna utilize uber for uber eats because of the american express platinum and the whole like perk with that card i haven't used Turo yet but i'm gonna keep it on there um and then like i did airbnb like once and then of course we have the universal app and i do need to put sea world on here because we are close enough to one now um this is all of my military type apps anything pertaining to me being a flight medic having an emtb um nursing um just anything and i recently downloaded asu and canvas for access to airman leadership school distance learning wise um, those are the two apps we use i pro flight on here for when you to book flights all that good jazz that's on here deploy medicine because i am a t triple c instructor for cls but not for the tier three i'll work on that one later um and then lastly is utilities so all these apps i do not use rent payment is what i pay my rent with mohila is who my student loans are with i no longer have Verizon, so i can delete that one <laughs> txu is who my energy is with honda link is for my honda um i have a 2022 honda accord sport hybrid my at&t is who my internet um, wi-fi is with nesting google home is for my thermostat and then CubeSmart, I used to have a storage with them, but they went up on price and I took all my crap out of there, so I no longer have them. Navient, um, I can delete that one. I can delete Xfinity, my account through Xfinity, and then Apartments and Zillow was what I was looking for when I moved. That's what I look for apartments on or look for rental homes, and then U-Haul, and then Zen Flip. Um, but this is pretty much the setup of my iPad. I know this video was pretty pretty lengthy and a lot of this stuff was just a wee bit redundant but um <laughs> but yeah that is my iPad setup. Um I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again if you have any questions about anything please like comment and subscribe. I love to interact with you all in the comments. Um some of you not all of you because some of y'all ask some really like crazy questions like questions that could be answered if you watch the video but yes like comment subscribe reach out to me i'm more than happy to um, talk to some of you guys and explain things in depth when need be and i'll catch you guys in the next video bye